anti-grazing law Ondo ready to protect people at any cost Akredolu Ondo state governor Oluwa Rotimi Akredolu San has reiterated his administration resolve to protect the lives of the people of the state at any cost Akredolu said although the recent anti-grazing law put in place in the state was not pleasing to some people he vowed to stand by it and ensure that farmers are saved from losing their farm crops as a result of outdated open grazing practices the governor spoke in his office on Tuesday while receiving the pastorate of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry led by the state overseer, Pastor Jacob Asubojo. According to Luhu, noted that the efforts made on Omoteko and the outlawing of open grazing were not targeted at anyone. Stressed that the need to protect the people and ensure mutual understanding informed the development. He said members of the Bieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria in the states are ready to cooperate with, with his administration on the open grazing ban. The governor also announced that the state government is partnering with food and agriculture organization to train headers on a feed lot. He said, I want to urge you to intensify your prayers for us. We need it. You have referred to our effort in trying to secure this our homeland. We have made effort. We established Omothekun and banned open grazing. It is not what is pleasing to everyone. Some people are not pleased with it. We are ready to stand by it and face whatever it will cost us. Pray for us. Omoteko and the open anti-open grazing law are not pleasing to some people and they are gathering together planning evil. Pray for us. Their evil will not work. What we are saying is that your headsmen cannot keep destroying our crops. The FAO has come and we have discussed it. The Mieti Allah here in Ondo State appears to want to cooperate with us because they know that when their cows destroy crops, we seize their cows and they pay the farmers before they are released. The FAO will train them on how to do feedlots. They will be trained to make feed and take it to the cows. We are not discriminating against anybody. We just want to make it clear that you cannot make your own ends meet and destroy other people's, other people's source of livelihood. We know your prayer are very important to us and we need it. Earlier, the state overseer of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, Pastor Osubojo, commended the governor's effort to keep the state at one at one piece. I, he said, I want to specially commend the effort of the governor in the areas of security as far as I'm concerned. Well, this is the news for today. Royal Timi Akredolu has stand by his policy. The anti-grazing law, Ondo, is ready to protect people at all costs. And this is what is supposed to be done in a country like this. You cannot and protect your source of livelihood or make your ends meet and go after and, and destroy other people's source of livelihood. This is what the headsmen have been doing, trying to make their own ends meet. And at the end of the day, they are destroying farmers' crops. They are destroying the source of livelihood of Nigerian farmers, mostly in the western and the eastern part of Nigeria. And the southern governors have met and said that they are going to ban open grazing. Well, 1st of September, that's 1st of this month, was the deadline that was set. But but only Oruwa Rotimi, that's the governor of Ondo State, and it's also the leader of the Southern Governors Forum. He has signed it into law and he has been and he has banned open grazing in Ondo State. Well, other governors are yet to do so. We are waiting for them. The Lagos State government said they are yet to ban it, but they are going to join the the, 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 the Southern Governors. They are, they are going to join Ondo State in banning and uh, banning open grazing in their state. Well, drop your comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think that could could better help of this uh, uh, um, policy to grow better because the Mieti Allah are not really accepting this law. Have, we have seen them several times come out to say that this law is not going to work in on those states that Oluwa wrote to me should check Benue State and see that Benue State has put this law down but till tomorrow they are still um, headers grazing openly in their field. So let us know what you think concerning this. You can drop your comment in the comment section below. And moving on to the other news which is the photos you're looking at are Ganduje son a graduating from United Kingdom Universities. Well, Mohamed Omar, the youngest son of Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduji, has graduated from the Regent's University in London. He backed a degree in a global management enterprise and innovation. Well, these pictures has caused a lot of crisis online. People are saying so many things. This is the son of the Kano State Government. So many people are saying a lot on the internet concerning this. This, has, this is why you see the ASU strike keeps on lingering and continuing. I heard a news, I saw a news recently, that is even today, this morning, that ASU is planning on going on another strike, but the date has not yet been identified or mentioned. People are saying a lot of things. People are saying that 
why didn't he attend the Kano State University? Who is he fooling? So a governor don't even trust his own school to educate his own son. Nigeria is a nation with double standard. Terrible, horrible ones for the masses, but sweet golden ones for the leaders are very shameful. Some people are saying it shall never be well with Nigerian politicians. Little wonder why our politicians leader don't give a damn about rotten state of health and education. They don't patronize our local hospitals, so they don't care if Nigerian doctors go strike for a whole year. We can say that the NAD have been on strike for going to two months and now they have been on strike for over two going to two months now and the federal government even took them to the industrial courts. And Femi Fala and I say, you know, stand, um, stand for the resident doctors. People are complaining of so many things. You see the educational sector in Nigeria going um, 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 rotting and spoiling. And our politicians don't even give a damn. Even the Minister of Education's children are not schooling here in Nigeria. So why will he give a damn about, or why will, why will he be concerned about what is happening in our educational sector? You can see a governor doesn't even trust his state educational sector. We see when President, Mo President Muhammad Buhari has ear problem, he runs outside the little health issue that even our doctors here can handle they don't want to take the chances they go outside and go and spend the millions of dollars in so many big big hospitals in the western world and after that they come back and come and act like if all is well all is not well why don't you equip our nigerian hospitals why don't you equip our nigerian schools so that your children too can school there so when you have issues you will not be wasting our nigeria our scarce resources in the country into the, the, the economy of other world you will be pumping it into our Nigerian hospitals and our Nigerian educational system. Somebody said their children do not attend our Nigerian university. So it doesn't bother them if ASU spends three years on strike action. Anyway, congratulations to Ganduje son. Well, somebody said their children's schools are abroad, but NANS remains silent when ASU goes on strike for one session. These are the governors promising good education in Nigeria. Immediately, um, 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 immediately Gandola collected the bribe from the contractors in dollars. He immediately wired it to his son abroad. Well, this is the news. People are complaining and making rumor. Well, what are your thoughts and opinions concerning this? And these are the photos once again for you to see them. When if you're coming here for the first time, you're welcome to Glenfo. This is the right platform for you where we drop the quality and updated news. All you have to do to stay updated is subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, keep sharing our videos and you will get notified whenever we drop our quality content. So just keep watching Glee Info and do have a wonderful week. God bless you.